Hi, this is Natalie Lucie, and today we're tackling to-do lists. If you have a lot of things, if you had a lot of projects, if you work with other people, or you need to coordinate even with your spouse, your housemates, or people in your family, friends, if you've got a lot of projects that have a lot of to-dos, I have just the solution for you, and it's called Asana. Asana is a free online web app that you can just grab by going to asana.com. It lives entirely on the web. You don't need to download anything, though they do have an iPhone app that just got refreshed and it's amazing. So here's what Asana does. First of all, you can sign in using your Google account. So that means you don't have to come up with a new password and a new login, or you can also sign up directly and create an account through Asana. So let me show you what Asana looks like on the inside. So here I have a couple of different projects. I have products, list building, the book I'm working on, moving to New York, and that's just kind of how I categorize things in my business. And here I have a more of a personal project, moving to New York City, which I'm doing. And as you can see, you can basically have different categories of to-do lists and you can assign tasks to different people. So for example, get moving boxes. If I click on this to-do item, which by the way, it's really easy to add new to-do items. So let's say that get moving boxes is just one of these items that I wanna do under moving. The other one might be secure the elevator for moving. So now what I can do is I can actually assign somebody to this particular to-do list. So right now I'm just gonna assign it to myself and then you can actually choose a due date. Now, this is going to come in handy in a future video that I'll be sending out to you soon. But basically, you can choose the due date. And let's say I need to have the elevator secured by next week, for example. Now, what happens is that all the dates and all of the items will be ordered by importance and by due date. So you never have to scramble and try to think about what's the next thing you should be working on because as long as you're prioritizing things with due dates you'll be working on the right things so for example let's say that i've already finished this i'm just going to mark it as done and now you can see these are all the things that i've done so far on this project and i can also archive these tasks so that i just have my latest update on here so there are tons of productivity tools out there, but why am I using Asana and why do I recommend it? I just love how simple and how easy it is to do everything. It's almost like using a piece of paper, except you can keep everything synced up with a team and all through the internet, which I absolutely love. And the other thing is how easy it is to add to-do items. You can just press enter, it'll create a new item for you. The other thing you can also do is get something recurring. So let's say that I wanna do this uh, like let's like say every single week I want to set this to repeat so that I always know to be working on my next blog post or my next, you know, whatever item it is that has to recur. You can add new project types just by typing a colon. So let's say this is a category. That's just created a new category and now I can create new items beneath that category. You can also reorder things if things are in the wrong categories. So you can also just delete things once you're done with them. Nice and easy. I feel like Asana is just one of those smooth, easygoing programs that really just lets you go in, do your work, and be out of there. And I'm gonna show you something next week that makes Asana even more powerful. So just go ahead, grab your free Asana account, start using it, get the feel for it, and then next week we're actually gonna dive into a little bit more of a ninja trick that I wanna share with you that will take Asana to the next level. So I hope you enjoyed today's Asana training video. And as you can see, it's really easy. So please give it a thumbs up if I've just introduced you to a cool new tool and you plan on using this. And make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel because next week you won't want to miss the follow-up to this video because I'm going to be showing you how to make Asana even more powerful and integrate with some other services that I think you should be using. By the way, if you haven't done so already, you should go to gettechynow.com to grab your free website checkup. And I'll catch you next week. This has been Natalie Lucier.